Hi to you all. I hope you're all well and safe. We are in the middle of a pandemic, as you know. Um, I'm working hard behind the scenes for the National Health Service in uh, my country in England, in the United Kingdom, but I've taken um, some time uh, on my day off to bring you uh, my latest review on the latest model that Hi-Fi Man, um, particularly Mark, um, has very kindly sent me. So greetings to you all over there in China and I hope you're still keeping well and I hope you keep this uh, pandemic at bay in your country because uh, you've set the tone for the rest of the world to follow. Anyway, that being aside, let's show you what I've got to talk to you about today. It is the Hi-Fi Man Diva. It is a hybrid Bluetooth planar magnetic open headphone. So let's put that to one side. Hi-Fi Man Diva. Diva is a Sanskrit. Um, Hi-Fi Man have been following the Sanskrit language, which is an ancient language, and some of it is quite beautiful and it's extremely obscure. And uh, Diva means heavenly. The contents of this video will be short and sweet. My colleague Tom, who is the chief engineer at NVA Products on Subjective Review, has already done um, his impressions on the Subjective Review site. And I'll be pleased to be showing you a link uh, down below in the comments section of this YouTube video about that. What my job will be to do is will be to unveil, unbox, explain, compare and evaluate the Diva. As you know, I'm a member of the Subjective Review site. I will show you a link to Tom's latest review, which is on the Hi-Fi Man Diva. Tom lives in Poland comes over to the UK regularly because Tom is actually the chief engineer for NVA Hi-Fi, which is a UK based bespoke niche type audio company that make everything from pre-amplifiers to loudspeakers. Ladies and gentlemen, the Hi-Fi Man Diva. Hi-Fi headphone with Bluetooth dongle which means you can use it as a Bluetooth headphone. So a hands-free wireless headphone that you can make and receive calls with as well as listening to your favorite music through your smartphone or other audio components. And you can also plug it in. So here we are, the nitty gritty. The warranty card. The owner's guide. Which is extremely nice, quite colorful. Gives you plenty of information. We have the all important USB-C charging cable, which also acts as a DAC cable or a data cable. We have the mini jack. So you can plug it into your smartphone or your laptop or indeed your Corp Mojo or other DAC amp. And this here is your first look at the Blue Mini. which is the Bluetooth dongle for it. Mm -hmm. 
and underneath is contained the Hi-Fi Man Diva. So a little twirl around there. So even with my eyesight without my glasses on the left and right it is plain to see. Decent sized driver inside there. All the stitching looks to be absolutely spot on. I have very small heads so these feel nice and tight on my head compared to some of the other Hi-Fi Man headphones. Taking a look around the headphones I couldn't really see any blemishes or imperfections at all in terms of the build. Um, the yokes, the yokes are reasonably tight and there's some movement backwards and forwards. but not too much movement sideways. These are extremely comfortable uh, wearing. Wearing outside in hot conditions, they do make your ears sweat a little bit. I'm now going to show you how to use the Blue Mini dongle. Here is the dongle. Here is the smartphone. This is an Android smartphone. It's a Xiaomi Mi 4, which is a 5G phone. I press the on button for two seconds. And as one can see, the Hi-Fi Man Diva is connected. This is an LDAC ready Bluetooth dongle so you can currently receive it in the highest quality possible for Bluetooth. All that one then has to do is to connect this to the headphones which I will do now. It's very easy. So the jack sits behind this flange and the flange fits into this recessed here and quite simply that is ready to roll. And as you can hear, the music is working. And to pause, all one has to do is press this once. To play, press once. To switch off, Press down for five seconds, you will hear a do 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 do, and it's switched off. We will now go into pairing. I will put that to one side. I will come back to my phone. And first of all, to show you how to pair, I will disconnect this from my.
So we'll just press the X there and as you can hear it's disconnected. Let's bring this back into the picture and we'll take this off and we'll put the headphones to one side and do you notice we've already gone into pairing mode automatically. I'm hoping you can see down here is the Hi-Fi Mandiva. I'm going to press that once and it said pairing. Bluetooth pairing request, pair with Hi-Fi Mandiva. So I'll press OK. And you'll see that the pairing signal has gone to a slow blue flash. And Hi-Fi Mandiva is shown here as connected for call and media audio. I can then unlock less with Smart Lock and I can add that as a trusted device. And I'll do my fingerprint and then add it. And quite simply, that is the Hi-Fi Mandiva connected to my second phone. I'll bring the Hi-Fi Mandivas back into the picture. And as I showed you before, I'll hook that in. Again, set that to one side. bring up some music pause one two three four seconds and it switches off So a little bit about the charging. I'm going to insert the USB cable, it's USB-C. So obviously that can go in either way. And I'll put this into the power pack. Power pack's activated. And as you can see, although there is a charging button that you can press do you see it to the left of the dongle, the opposite side of the LED indicator? I didn't need to press it, it's just immediately started recharging. Red would indicate that it is in a charging state and green would indicate that it has finished its charge. That is the function of the USB C cable as regards to charging. I'll now show you how to use the Blue Mini dongle as a USB DAC. Plug in the USB C cable, the USB end, which goes into the USB port of the laptop, and as you can see now, it's gone into charging mode. So we'll press it on now. And do you see it's going red and blue, red and blue. And I believe that means it's now been recognized on the system. We'll go up to the audio output and sure enough, Hi-Fi Man Diva is there. I'll open up Amazon Music. We'll start playing a track.
the Hi-Fi Mandiva as a USB DAC. As a wired headphone, it's fairly simple. You unplug the Blue Mini dongle, you plug one end into the headphone, you plug the other end into your headphone jack, You select headphones and there you go. What could be simpler, folks? Voila! Et voila! It is planar magnetic. It is open-backed. It is either Bluetooth or it is wired. It can be used as a USB device, so obviously it's extremely versatile. Cosmetically, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. I love the look of the device. My wife is not so keen on it. I just don't think she likes the brown color. It is very much a conventional looking headphone compared to their other Bluetooth open-backed model. If you have closed-back Bluetooth headphones and you have open-backed full-size headphones, you will understand when I say there is a big difference in the average closed-back headphone compared to an open-back headphone. I'm not going to go into huge lengths about it now but the less obstruction you have to getting sound out. If you get everything else right, the better the chances you are of having a clearer sound with an open-backed headphone than a closed-backed headphone. You increase your chances of getting decent sound quality. They primarily are wireless. This is how I've used them 99% of the time, but they can be used as USB DACs and they can be used for wired. The Blue Mini Dongle has a 7 to 10 hour battery life, after which it needs to be recharged. These could be your sole headphones because you could then use them wired while you're waiting to recharge them. 7 to 10 hours is a decent day's listening to audio. There is plenty of time to be listening to audio if that's what you want to spend your time relaxing doing. And there must be worse ways to spend your time than doing that. The competition is the Hi-Fi Man Ananda. It comes in this lovely case which can be bought separately on the Hi-Fi Man website. This is another Hi-Fi Man look and it is the Teardrop Hi-Fi Man trademark look. These look more expensive, don't they? They are more expensive. When I received the Ananda Bluetooths, they were retailing at $999. The Hi-Fi Man Diva was aimed at the cheaper end of the market and these are $299.
for $299 or 299 pounds, I believe they fetch in the United Kingdom, the Divas offer a great sound. I have used them wirelessly. 99% of the time they are a great fit. They are very comfortable. Yes, they do tend to make your head feel a bit hot in this glorious sunshine that we're currently having. The Ananda Bluetooths, are in a different league. They r retail at £999 or $999. What is the difference between the Divas sound quality and the Ananda Bluetooth sound quality? The Diva has a lovely sound. It doesn't sound particularly closed in with the sound stage. The instrumentation vocals are easy to follow. There are no particular howling problems with either the bass being anemic to boomy or the high frequency sounds being anything other than the typical hi-fi man signature which is smooth yet detailed somehow and quite forgiving. There are no glaring problems with the hi-fi man diva they sound clear, detailed, the bass sounds right, the sound stage seems realistic and they have the typical hi-fi man sound signature and what's more they are wireless so you can take them anywhere you like. The only caveat I would have to that is I wouldn't move around too much with them in terms of twisting your head and stuff. The Blue Mini Dongle seems to struggle sometimes with that and you will get the occasional hiccup. But sat down relaxing with these on is, I can think of worse ways to spend a pandemic. And for a 300 pound headphone, it's going to take some beating. And there is no 300 pound Bluetooth headphone that compares to this. When we look at the Ananda Bluetooth at $999, then this is a big step up in terms of detail, sound stage, bass impact. But they do say in life you get what you pay for, don't you? This I could wear all day long and I did not realise how much better the Ananda Bluetooth was until of course I put them on. Because when I put these on initially, and believe you me, I've listened to many, many top headphones. I was very pleased with the sound of this. This is a perfectly acceptable, perfectly comfortable headphone, which ticks all of the boxes that I would expect for a 300 pound full size headphone but more so, it is wireless. And the wireless dongle lasts for seven to 10 hours, which is a decent amount of time, even in a pandemic, I think you'd agree. And when you run out of the battery, then just plug them in with the wired. The Ananda Bluetooth, if you wish for no compromise, stunning, audiophile sound quality then I'm afraid you have to spend $600 more so this is $999 and is absolutely stunning sound quality but by no means discount the Diva at £299 or $299 this is fantastic value for money well done Hi-Fi Man you have another winner. This concludes our Hi-Fi Man Diva analysis and unboxing. I hope you've enjoyed it. I've enjoyed showing you it and I've enjoyed listening to the product. If you want to know anything more about the product then don't hesitate to fill in a comment in the section below. I sincerely hope that 
you all keep safe and your families keep safe and well and healthy and I hope this pandemic will be behind us very soon but if you have spent money to spend and time to spend which I'm hoping many of you that are watching this have time to spend now then I can't think of a better way of relaxing and letting all your troubles go away than listening to music through a set of headphones and if you have the chance to do that whether or not you decide to listen through the Hi-Fi Man Divas, enjoy your music, relax and make the best of this and let's hope it will be over very soon. Goodbye to you all.